Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here again, and here's one of my classic um, wishing machine designs from, I think well, this was probably 1995, 1996, um, and I'm refurbishing it right now, so it, it looks a little crude at this point, but uh, compared to what's out there, this is super sophisticated. Now, wishing machines, which were made popular by the book Mind Machines uh, You Can Build by Stein, talked about making a wishing machine. But of course, again, it was very crude. For a guy who was supposedly a rocket scientist, uh, his designs and everything else weren't really good, and they didn't really um, get the energy flow into these units the way they should be. I had brief uh, correspondence with him, and he didn't like the fact that um, he thought he was special and didn't like the fact that there was some sort of uh, occult science term. Typical closed-minded idiots. Uh, but, of course, we know how much scientific uh, advances we've made. <laughs> so, this was an electric model. We had a very sophisticated, um, internal, well-made, solid-state amp inside of this that was made in factories in uh, Europe at the time. And uh, so you had that. And generally, you put your wish underneath here. This is where you would put your wish and your photograph, and then you would close this. Um, so we put a nice little knob to bring it up. It has an on and off uh, light switch as well. It's electric. We put a nice antenna on it, all 100% pure copper, pure copper plates. Um, we always use the best uh, that we possibly could. Uh, we also had jacks on each side, one for a headband. And we'll turn this sideways. So here's uh, two in jacks to send energy in. And of course, we even had a fuse here to make it 100% safe. And on the other side, we had an in and out jack. Because technically, you need three in jacks to use this. But maybe you want to send some energy out. But what were the in jacks for? Well, we had a headband here. And as I said, we're just going to show you. This was a headband that plugged into the in. And we had two handles and they're both copper you now these are full uh, pure 100 percent copper and those would go into the ends and you would hold the unit and you would uh, do the typical thought form energy but you know i'm a strong believer in the uh, bioenergetic the slight uh undetectable and unknown <coughs> bioenergy frequencies coming from your chakras your third eye <coughs> in all those areas. So you just sit over this and use a thought form or a pure psychic energy and thinking that's it is something that I've never agreed with. I've always liked to have um, and to grab as much, quote, more common energies or even uncommon energy. Because we don't know what all these subtle energy fields are. They're very hard to detect. So, you know, some people think that, oh, it's psychic energy, since when does that have to do with being connected to anything? I had one boobalicious nonsense person say that. Well, that's ignorant. We don't know the kind of energies. We do know that the mind is putting off um, micro frequencies, and we're not really sure. Some people think the brain is putting out a, a quite a bit of energy, and you could light a low wattage light bulb with it. Uh, so we don't know. So are we going to just ignore that because those don't really transmit and you're only going to be based on the psychic energy, the biophysical that is transmitted? Well, of course not. So connecting yourself using a headband so that you can get direct energy and psychic energy as well <clears throat> coming from the third eye, which is what uh, the headband does there. And of course, we're not going into a lot of detail here because that's for Patreon and All Access members where we'll talk about this more. We are going to have a new model of this coming out very soon. Because wish machines are great. Why? Well, look at that. There's no dials. You just have to put the wish and your photo in there, and it sends the energy, and people have had great success with these. You then amp it up by having an internal amp, which we're going to change now. Back then, you couldn't get good, uh, inexpensive tube amps. Uh, now you can, uh, and uh, that's going to make these things kick ass. So, But, again, <coughs> here you have copper handles. Um, 
which make this a great unit to send energy into it. So you can relax, put your headband on, put your handles, and then send very potent thought forms into the machine. Now, per Harry Stein, and people have used these, um, he had great success. Apparently, he claimed he cured his daughter of acne using this. Stein has been dead now for about 15 or 20 years, and um, as such... Uh, never really followed through. He said in his book he would follow through, but he really never did with anybody. Uh, and when I contacted him, he had a problem without even communicating with someone. So, you know, this is the kind of idiot schmientist, uh, closed-minded boobs. Here's a guy who wrote, writes science fiction, uh, is involved with this kind of technology, and doesn't want to... Um, talk about the fact that this is really occult technology. It really is. We don't know exactly how they, of course, he doesn't know. I know how it all works. I know what the occultons, the scions, the intermixing, the uh, boson uh, energy fields that are created as if you want to be a schmientist. I know all of that and how this works. And um, if we had the millions of dollars that the crap that he had for his crap research, uh, we'd be... But nobody wants empowered people. They want you dumb, stupid, and following along, taking their medications, being their slaves, going to their schools, and working for them. They don't want you independent and functioning on your own. So I hope you enjoyed this. As I said, check the links below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you support us. If you are not a uh, Patreon or an All Access member... Uh, you are missing out. There's great, great benefits to that, and it's only $8 a month. So what are you waiting for? Uh, be part of world change. Be part of what uh, of an organization out there trying to do something instead of all the negative organizations out there that are never going to get anywhere, and that includes your big colleges and your schmientists, your physicists, who in 100 years have achieved nothing, so basically it means 500 years because it's the same thing that Newton started is what they still believe in. Uh, dressed up a little uh, with a little nonsense 100 years ago by Einstein and um, nothing else has been achieved since then. Pretty sad because they don't get it. We do support us and you can help change the world.